Crown Vic Nation. Crown Vic Nation, what's going on, everybody? Yes, I've been gone for a little while. I had took a break, you know, dealing with life. And, uh, you know, I'm back on it. Um, the reason I'm getting this engine out, because it's going to go into this one. Uh, you know, I'm trying to get things together before summer. Um, I know I got all these cars piled out here, and I got to get it cleaned up. So that's the reason for me really kind of going a little hard now to get this uh, situation under control. Um, I will be taking this engine out. I'll say we'll be going into other 2011. Um, I had to figure out some things first. I'm going to take the heads off, check a few things. Uh, give the heads and valves, I should say, a standard leak test to see how bad or if how minimum the valves are leaking. Certain things like that. Um, I'm going to leave the short block alone. Um, I'm going to call back the machine shop. Ask them a few questions and um, put her all back together. Um, put her in the other vehicle. Uh, the other vehicle didn't have these type of demons, as you know. I popped some check engine lights some things like that that ran funny when the stock engine and trans was in here. So um, it popped those codes when I would unplug the battery for some strange reason. And then um, it would start acting right. So um, I'm going to pull this engine out, take it apart, top in at least. Um, you know, I'll probably put some head studs in here because those uh, bolts, um, you know, it, it can be a little tricky, but you'd have to be a little careful with them. So um, just a few things I'm going to do to prevent anything in the future. Just get it out the way. I'm going to have modular head shop degree the can for me just so I can get this going, um, depending on what the valve leak test looks like um i have a feeling that i tried the car did run but it was running a little iffy wasn't um too much shaking like that but it just didn't run how the tuner expected and he even said check the timing so i'm going to simply do certain things just to get this thing running and um get back on the road as my daily um right now that is my daily right there um like i say you have three and one in the garage. So this one right here, frame and stuff like that needs to get rid of. I'm going to take the uh, few suspension parts out of here, put some old ones that I have in here, and get the thing out of my hair. So, you know, I'll be down to three Crown Vicks, uh, two 2011 white Crown Vicks, and one 2009, which was supposed to be a track vehicle. So I'm just giving you guys a quick update. Um, I'm here. I'm not going nowhere. Uh, Crown Vic Nation, I appreciate H all you new subscribers that stuck around like i said I took a little bit of a break but i am back on it i'm getting ready to get this motor out so i can do a few things to it get it back in and uh get this thing running i'm going to like i say i'm going to put catalytic converters back on to start off and then i'm gonna do a free flowing exhaust you know with the epa and all that going on i'm just gonna simply say free flowing exhaust look it up if you think if something is restricted versus something that's free so you know free flowing i should say so i'm gonna do that stock headers um at this point uh long tubes have went sky high um if i might can find some cooks um i have a cat uh cat back and stuff for those type headers but if i can't i'm just gonna put a stock i mean i should say i'm put stock headers and a custom um h pipe with a, a two and a half inch exhaust with some mufflers so that's the plan i'm here youtube crown vic nation you guys got any questions or anything um i'm gonna keep some updates get this engine out look at the uh short block make sure that it's good um because if you don't know um these are forged pistons in this block with a set of billet rods um, for molinar so um the 20 2618 pistons were known for being a little noisy which i have part of me just say hey get it running run it um, I'm just going to look at once I open up and look at the short block and then I'll give you video from there and then we'll go from there. YouTube uh, Crown Vic Nation, like I say, this is a uh, build I've been working on for almost two years and I'm going to get it back under control. So you guys, I appreciate you sticking along Crown Vic Nation. I'll catch you next time with another update.